Hallo und willkommen zu Lone Star. Wir spielen Larry. Hier gibt es einen Rettungsring. Schauen wir uns den Epilog nach an. Friends. Friends! You drive the company halfway to ruin and already you're telling me you just want to be friends. <laughs> well, we have been through a lot together, haven't we? Never forget where you came from. Never forget who made you what you are today. Those cell phones won't be around much longer. The future belongs to modern devices. Devices that are much more than just telephones. And I think we're on the right track. <clears throat> well, that is... Anyway, I think that we now need to look further down the road. We must not allow ourselves to be guided solely by short-term profit. It's about helping people live their everyday lives, about making the world a better place. As CEO of Prune, I want to drive this project forward. A, a new kind of portable hardware that features a revolutionary artificial intelligence that I'm working on as we speak. I call her Pi, and the device she'll be running on, the Pi phone. If we get this right, this device will become an indispensable tool in the life of every single human being and change the world. And that's not all. As you can see from the financial projection, this device will catapult us to the top of the world's hardware and software companies. For you, as investors, this is truly a unique opportunity. I find that an extremely optimistic prediction. What a crazy idea. You want us to invest in a, a toy? Like that? Okay, wir können jetzt als Face spielen. Wir spielen jetzt also sozusagen ihre Vergangenheit und warum sie so geworden ist, wie sie jetzt ist. The emerging smarter cell phones, the so-called smartphones, will change everything. That thing doesn't look particularly smart. Business is good. Why not just keep on going the way we have been? Stagnation is death. Stagnation? Rushing forward too fast can kill a company. A touch screen? But keys are much more practical. Devices like this are incredibly flexible. Well, all I can see are fingerprints all over it. Uh, whatever. And that's too dangerous for me to invest my money in. This smartphone is far-fetched enough. I don't even want to talk about this artificial intelligence thing. This changes everything! Apart from that, your company really has a problem when a... a woman has to be at the top. <laughs> hey, could you bring us another coffee, please? At least you look good in that dress. It'd look good on you as a secretary, too. Why didn't you try another industry? Kitchen appliances can be pretty high-tech, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should really invest in other areas. Maybe something with weapons. And I just have to pretend I understand what I'm talking about? Yes, 
you actors can memorise anything, right? But it's of the utmost importance that it looks like you had the ideas. Of course, that's my specialty. You have to be convincing on stage, really be able to sell the technology, even if it's not yours. Didn't you say you weren't quite ready with that virtual helper? You mean Pi? Oh. She's ready, all right. I have to get development funding so I can make the algorithm self-learning. That will change everything when it's done. We can really make a difference here. Help people make the world a more fair and just place. And if the presentation goes off well, do I have the job? If the presentation goes well, Bill, you can have it all. You will then officially become the CEO of Prune Incorporated. You'll own the whole city. Everyone will be at your feet. And we'll make a killing. Yes, but that's not the point. We can deliver the sum of the world's knowledge to every human being on the planet. We can also latte with tofu strudel and make a steam extract for BJ. BJ? Bill Jobs. I thought that was obvious. <laughs> BJ? That doesn't sound half bad. Maybe you should always call yourself that, Bill. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. I have to get going. I'll see you at the presentation tomorrow. Yes, I'm really looking forward to working with you. Damals war sie also noch and don't forget the suit. Oh, and do something with your hair. As the new CEO of Prune, I personally want to drive this project forward. A new type of portable hardware that also features a revolutionary artificial intelligence. I call her Pi, and the device she'll be running on, the Pi Phone. I think those investors adore him. This could all work out as intended. As you can see from the financial projection, this device will catapult us to the top of the world's hardware and software companies. For you as investors, this is truly a unique opportunity. Hmm, it's BJ, isn't it? Well, I can see that you're a high caliber man, and that's a very interesting idea, this Pi phone, but I'm not convinced. The emerging smarter cell phones, the so-called smartphones, will change everything. <laughs> the longer I think about it, the better it sounds. Business is good. Why not just keep on going the way we have been? Stagnation is death. Well, that's really well said. A touch screen? But aren't keys more practical? Devices like this are incredibly flexible. I never looked at it that way before. Well, BJ, I have to say, Never before have I seen such a technically impressive vision of the future. And you're really rocking that suit. It's easy to see how much expertise you have. I do believe that with you, our money is in excellent hands. I can't believe it. It, it worked. Das war also noch ein bisschen Gesellschaftskritik. How could you screw that up so badly, BJ? You had everything, everything you could have ever dreamt of. But again and again, off you went, getting drunk as a skunk in town for absolutely no reason. We were barely able to keep them from trumpeting the news about which dives you were in. You even lost a secret prototype in that bar. Oh, and what about you? Have you gotten everything done exactly the way you planned? Kept every promise you ever made? Your revolutionary new AI. The one that was supposed to improve the lives of people everywhere? Pi. The self-learning Pi 2. All just a con. The AI versions we released were just data krakens we used to make a killing. That's all. I would have been a lot further ahead if you hadn't kept throwing a wrench into the works all the time. <laughs> What happened to you? You used to be a talented young visionary. You wanted to change everyone's life for the better back then. I did everything I could. I tried everything, but no one listened to me. Nobody even gave me a chance. Nobody... Damn it! We have an intruder. Who the hell is it now? I have to take care of this. Yeah, and then came Larry. 
one locking up of Larry later. I can't believe Larry showed up here. But he can't do any more damage. Maybe I'm being a little too hard on them. No, they'll get what they deserve. I've been letting people walk all over me for too long. Well, the board knows full well I'm the only one who can clean up this mess and save the company. I own the place anyway. It's about time I officially stepped into the spotlight. Maybe that whole thing Larry started wasn't so bad after all. I need to call the board. Oh, damn it, no signal. Maybe up there. The chairman of the board. Perfect. I was just going to call. Yes, I saw the share price. That lawyer chick may have something on BJ, but he's out anyway. But I still own the majority share in Prune and I... Which investor? Nope. Not going to happen, and that's still my decision and not some investors, no matter how many shares he buys. <laughs> I said I haven't finished programming the new AI. The current iteration isn't ready for release yet. If we were to incorporate it into a product, it could... No, never. I'm the only one who has access to the code, and I'm not going to change that. In the wrong hands, that AI is dangerous. I still have to work on it first. I don't react well to threats. Unbelievable. The first thing I'm going to do when I'm officially CEO is replace the whole board. Give them my AI like hell. It stays on my personal Python, and nowhere else. Faith? Don't come any closer. Let's talk this over. You're worse than BJ. Can't take much, can he? Don't make me throw you off. This is all just a big misunderstanding. Jetzt muss man so How did you get exact... out, anyway? I used the door opener. I mean, out is the... Hold on. What door opener? Some red button. The red button beside the door? That's not the door opener. I knew it was a stupid idea to put the button right next to the door. Faith, what have you done? You done, you idiot. You activated the self-destruct. Oh, that red button. Yes, the red button next to the... It doesn't fucking matter. Faith, go left. That was close. Larry, in spite of everything, you still saved my life. You're too beautiful to be crushed. Oh, Larry, I think we should... So, also das gleiche, wie ich gemacht habe. Gibt's kein Happy End für Larry? Oder hätte man doch dann rechts sagen sollen? Ah, uh, my head is pounding. What? What happened? Where am I? How did I get here? And who am I? My name is... Wait... Oh, I got it on the tip of my tongue... Damn it! Okay, relax. I have to find something here that'll help me. Oh, okay. Wir müssen also den Abspann noch spielen. Nothing but water everywhere you look. There's no land to be seen on the horizon. The back of the boat. There sure is a lot of stuff in this boat. The back of the boat. Oh. 
Also schauen wir mal. I'm not cold. At least not yet. Schauen wir mal drunter. Let's see what's underneath. The hole makes the bucket useless. It has a hole in it, so there's no need for me to drag it around the way it is. Aber wir haben Kaugummi. It's got something attached to it and what is it anyway? Das ist der Puck. It's all slimy. Das war der, den wir auf dem auf der Fähre. Ah, das Ding der Plack. Ja, ja, Kann man damit das Good Hole zu machen? Not. Ja, wo wir nach oben geschossen haben. Dann nehmen wir den Plug und stecken ihn da rein. Exactly ja, schade, geht nicht. A durable suitcase. Let's see what's in here. Looks like a compartment for files. It has documents in it. Ein Haufen Knete. That's a lot of money. Hopefully this currency is valid wherever I'm going. Lots of colorful passports. You never know when a submarine might suddenly pop up and want to see a passport. If it's mine, I packed superbly for every situation. I hope that really is my underwear. <lacht> yeah. So, dann schauen wir mal das an. Hmm. What is this thing? No idea what I'm supposed to do with that. What is this thing again? How can I help you? What? Well, I'm here on this boat and I don't know who I am. Name. Faithless. That's my name. Ooh, Faithless. Good. Uh, but that isn't really helping me. Situation analysis in progress. Sensors activated. Please wait. Water. Water everywhere and not a drop to drink. Storm detected. Hazard level 1. Approaching your position. A quick change of location is recommended. Can you call for help? I can forward your location via the emergency call function. Then do it. Emergency call function. Low battery. Power save mode activated. Please recharge as soon as possible. Beep. Thing. Uh, hello? Where the hell am I going to find electricity out here? Ja, oh, mist. Those remind me of someone. Worms. It's wriggling. I could use it to fire off a flare. If I had to, I could also use it to shoot pirates. A fishing line. I've never fished before, I think. Hopefully I won't get it all tangled up. A well-secured life preserver half in the water. The life preserver is fastened securely. Hmm. There's so much water in the boat. How did it get here? And how did I get here? I guess one could use that to start the motor. The outboard motor. If only it could get me away from here. A flap which probably conceals the motor. <sighs> Screw down tight. So, was can we do with machen? No, that'd be a bad combination. Nee, funktioniert nicht. The water's too murky. Can't see anything in it. The rope's hopelessly jammed. Hmm. Lit haben wir noch. Da, da haben wir was. A hinge. Completely rusted. It won't budge. Now, everything's lubricated. Then let's have a look. There's a first aid kit in here. I'm not hurt, but let's see. Ah, it was B. A needle. I don't think it's absolutely necessary for sailing. I hope it doesn't prick me from inside my pocket. On the other hand, this dress doesn't even have any pockets. Why do I have the urge to stick this over some guy's mouse? A guy in a white suit. Yeah, wer weiß. Band-aids for all those little boo-boos. 
Band-aids are always useful. Das stimmt. So. I hope I won't be forced to try and catch a fish. Let's just forget it. Was it nicht? Not exactly hand in glove. Ich bräuchte ein USB-Kabel irgendwie. Uh, no. The needle didn't help and now it's totally bent. A flap which probably... Hmm. There's the hook. I guess you could call that a fishing rod, if you don't look too closely. It'd be good bait, but a little worm like that shouldn't be skewered. Fish? Not a good match. And what's the... P right, now what? Well treated. Jetzt sieht ein bisschen dicker aus. Should work. Anything that bites on that has absolutely no taste. That would be misappropriation. Also da drin ist nicht. Uh, no. No idea how that's supposed to help, but okay. Hier jetzt geht's zu fischen. Fishy. Not exactly hand in glove. Was mache ich mit dem Fisch? Red herring. Kind of fishy. Kind of fishy. Hmm. Not a good match. Slimy thing. And what's? No, that'd be. Good idea. Not. Hmm. Do you want me to wave it off? Something's brewing. Schauen wir nochmal vorne. I hope you know. Hopefully, I don't know what for yet, but documents are always helpful. It has doc. A cable. No idea what this cable is used for. I'm sure I can do something with it. Okay, sag mal, also ein USB-Kabel. That's obviously a portable battery. Electricity to go. How practical. So. That won't help without a power source. The cable you have used is not operational. There's something about a takeover bid of a company called Prune by some Asian investors. Seems to be some kind of fruit company. I'm not. It has a hole in it, so there's. Hmm. Can we make it I'll just close that up again. A durable. Okay, we could with the Eimer reparieren. Hole. Batterie können wir nicht reinstecken. Kabel geht nicht, den Fisch kann man auch nicht reinstecken. Let's just forget it. Good idea. Äh, nee. Ah, Klebeband. That should be enough to use the bucket. It might come in handy if it was freshly patched. Ist es ja jetzt. Dann hinten leer. Okay, here we go. Water to water. Sehr schön. That's what the life preserver was tied down with. Auch sehr praktisch. Open. The life preserver is fastened securely. The so. Now I want to screw something too. Wie kriege ich den life preserver weg? That would be Now it's open. The motor has Bluetooth. What company would come up with an idea that stupid? 
Tja, die eigene. Ugh, the cable doesn't fit. Maybe I tried it the wrong way round. I'll try plugging the cable in the other way round. Doesn't work either. Okay, I'll turn it round again, even though it makes absolutely no sense. <lacht> das ist das perfekte oh, USB-Kabel. Es geht mir genauso. Ja, ich muss auch immer das Kabel so oft drehen, dass man sich denkt, das gibt's gar nicht. Battery charging. All system functions restored. Oh, jetzt kommt der Sturm. Now what? Storm detected. Hazard level 2. Approaching fast. A change of location is recommended. That's what I've been trying to do the whole time. You're not much help. Whoever designed you should be ashamed. Then send the distress call now. It is recommended that you first change your location quickly. Outboard motor detected. Recommendation. Activate. Yeah. Thanks for that. Also, muss man irgendwie anmachen. Hat er sich verbunden mit dem Handy? Connection established. Motor operational. Motor cannot be started as no fuel is available. The tank's empty. All that work was for nothing. Storm detected. Hazard level 3. You are now officially in danger. Recommendation. Throw out life preserver. Throw out the life preserver? There's no one in the water. And hopefully I'm not going to fall in. The Prune High Sea Safety Protocol stipulates that a life preserver must be thrown out. Okay then, if you say so. Ja, aber der ist ja noch festgebunden. The life preserver is fastened securely. Life preserver. Ah, yeah, rope. Open. I have a life preserver now, but I'm not saved yet. Dann schmeißen wir mal raus. It says suitable only for rescuing divers. <lacht> Hazard level 4. No life preserver within range. Situation hopeless. Damn it! Then send the distress call. Storm is about to hit your vessel. To whom should your last backup be sent? Uh, I can't remember anybody from my former life. Th there must be somebody. Somebody who impressed me, who I can remember. A, a Larry... A Laffer. Your location and an encrypted backup of your entire Pi phone, including private data, are being sent to Larry Laffer. Wait! I'm not exactly sure who that is. Storm has arrived. Hazard level 5. Have a nice day. Oh, I'm a face. Transmission successful. Tja, das war der Epilog. Jo, dann sind wir also mit dem Spiel durch. Es hat mir eigentlich ganz gut gefallen. Ich meine, ein paar der Witze sind wirklich... Ah, naja, schon jenseits der Grenze. Und ein paar der Rätsel waren vor allen Dingen sehr schwierig, beziehungsweise so unlogisch, dass ich nicht drauf gekommen bin, was ja nicht so viel heißen will. Aber ich weiß nicht, ob ihr auch drauf gekommen seid oder ob die Rätsel einfach generell ein paar ein bisschen schwach waren. Vielleicht wird es ja in dem neuen Teil, der rauskommen soll, besser. Insgesamt war es doch sehr lustig, war auch ganz gut gemacht. Ich meine, ein paar der Zeichnungen waren schon wirklich arg äh, übertrieben, auf Eklig gemacht und... Natürlich ist alles mit seltsamem Humor angereichert, aber äh, trotzdem war es doch insgesamt ein nettes Point-and-Click-Adventure. 
So, das war also das Ende. Und wir freuen wir uns doch einfach auf den nächsten Teil. Und bis dahin würde ich sagen, mach mir ein kleines Päuschen und ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen und wir sehen uns das nächste Mal.